should you get and build thorns? Short answer, yes. Long answer, this entire video. Code name was Sons. Neo Kurase. Kore Kosoga Iberia no Destoretza. Thorns is a six star ranged guard from Iberia. A proficient swordsman, with his supreme arts distreza. Also knowledgeable in pharmacology. That is now a frontline combatant operator in Rhodes Island. The second six star ranged guard in the game. A strong unit to support others from AFA, or even do a solo lane. And apparently have way too many skins in Arknights or other game. As the name suggests, a ranged guard or lord can perform ranged attack. Both to aerial and ground enemies. However, their ranged attack will only deal 80% of their attack. This guard archetype tend to have a quite big amount of attack. So even their ranged attack can still pack a punch. And this is Thorn's general stats. He has solid defense, good attack, not too expensive, and quick attack speed. He is currently the tankiest lord guard in the game. As for his talents. Thorn's first talent is similar like blue poison. Thorn's will deal some arts damage to the enemy for 3 seconds. And the damage is doubled when attacking ranged enemies. As for his E2 talent. When he's not attacking for 2 seconds. Thorns will restore 3.5% of his HP, and 4% at pot 2. This is a very great talent, to make him into a self-sufficient operator without healer. But keep in mind that Thorns will only do self-healing when he's not attacking. And this is his potentials upgrade list. He got a very nice potentials upgrade. A duplicate of him is surely a welcomed one. And currently, Thorns doesn't have a module upgrade. Moving to his skills. Thorn's first skill, a basic skill that will increase his attack. A good starting skill with good uptime and damage. His second skill, it will focus on defense as a frontliner. And dealing damage to crowded enemies. Thorn's will stop doing normal attacks. But will do a counter attack when he's being attacked by enemies. His damage and defense will increase, his counter attack range is also increased and can hit up to 4 enemies. It's a good skill, but Thorns will need to be constantly attacked. Although his increased defense will mostly guarantee his survival. But better not to depend on this skill. Especially when we got his third skill. Lastly, his third skill, an attacking SP charge type. Expand his attack range to become a marksman range. Increase his attack damage and speed. And then his ranged attacks no longer deal reduced damage. And on top of that, on the second activation of this skill. The skill stats bonuses will be doubled, and have infinite duration. With this skill damage and his first talent arts damage. Thorns can deal with tough defense enemies just fine. So it's undeniably a must skill to master E3. The only downside of this skill, is that Thorns need to build his SP through attacking for quite a while. Although most of the time this is hardly a problem. Especially if you have SP battery unit like Chen, Warfare and all this calm. As for his base skills. His first skill will increase by product chance by 50% when processing any material. And his second skill will let him restore some moral for every 2 times no by product are produced. So, will Thorns become a good operator for your team? A solid meter that can be brought to almost any stage in the game. Can help others from the back, and do a solo lane. Although because of his best talent and skill is unlocked after Elite 2. Thorns is not a really game changer unit for newbie without his second promotion. But undeniably a great operator to invest and use after E2. So grab your sea urchin. And show those enemies the true supreme arts. That should be all. Adios.